Okay, uh, welcome to the third part of our dynamic pages tutorial. And in the last uh, in the last video, I showed you uh, sections and subsections using dynamic pages. And in this video, I'm be covering uh, error messages and handling errors, and some security issues that uh, dynamic pages do have. Now, uh, we're going to start with the errors. So, uh, if say if we go to our, our uh, tutorials page, so it's page equals tutorials, and obviously inside of our content folder, this page does exist. If we change this to say something random, look at that. You get this horrible, horrible uh, PHP error message saying, oh, we can't find this file, there's this file with this name that exists. And this is, is potentially user unfriendly. Uh, so we're going to solve this. So, we're just going to go back. So, uh, right below our include, or right above our include, rather, we're going to create an if statement. And right now, I'm just going to highlight this, and I'm going to hit Control-X, so I'm going to get rid of it, so it'll be out of the way, so we won't mess it up. So, we're going to create an if statement, and in this if statement, we're going to use the file underscore exists, uh, uh, function that is built in the PHP, so you won't have to uh, you won't have to code this function or yourself or anything. Uh, so this function is built in the PHP, so you can automatically use it. Uh, and then in parentheses right here, we're going to say dollar sign path. So it, what this is saying is, if our path exists, and then if it does exist, we're going to use our include. Um, but if it doesn't exist we're going to uh, create another include and we're going to say uh, our content folder and you can change your content folder to whatever folder you want or if you just want to have it uh, as the same uh, uh, structure level as your index fold file uh, that's fine, doesn't really matter but what we're going to be doing is we're going to have an error page so we're just going to call, we're just going to say uh, error and then Dot PHP. So what this is going to do is, if there, if the page is uh, their path, if it does not exist, we're going to come up with an error page. So we need to put our uh, semicolon there, and we need to inside of our content folder, we need to create an error page. So we'll just save this out inside of our content and. error.php and we'll say uh, there was an error while trying to get to the page you wanted so we'll say that so if we refresh uh, some sort of error here uh, I'm going to pause this and figure out what I did wrong. Okay, I figured out what I did wrong. I accidentally uh, didn't name the error page correctly. I left out one of the R's. So, add that on there. And... Uh, and there's still an error. Alright, uh, I'm going to pause it again. Okay, so I, I found out the problem. Uh, it's the... the uh, file exists. It's file exists. There is an S on the end. So I forgot the S. Now we have our our uh, our prob problem fixed. So if we come in here now and we try to come to some random page, we hit enter. Say, oh, there's an error while trying to get to the page you wanted. So we have we have solved the uh, the user uh, trying to get to some sort of page that doesn't exist. Now, for security reasons, uh, technically, users can change your page to uh, dot dot dash, or dot dot forward slash, dot dot slash, and it'll take them up directories, or I think I did that wrong, it'll take them up directories, uh, which is potentially problematic, because you don't want your users going to, uh, going to directories and, and such they shouldn't. So, uh, I'm just going to go back, 
And now, uh, this problem can easily be solved, and I'm going to show you how to do it. Okay, so uh, to solve this problem, you want to come down right before uh, your no section right there, and you want to put down a few uh, uh, lines, that's what I'm looking for, and we're going to create an if statement. So in our if statement, we're going to say if no, so we're going to exclamation mark, and then S-T-R-P-O-S, so it's, uh, uh, I did that wrong. S T R P O S, uh, which is string position. So this is a, uh, another uh, function built into PHP, and what it does is it'll go through your go through uh, whatever's provided, and it'll say, "Oh, did we find this uh, character or string?" Uh, and then we want to say, um, uh, "We're going to put parentheses after this." So another set of parentheses, and then we're going to say, uh, "Whoops." You want to say dollar sign page. You want to say dollar sign page, and then comma, and then in quotation marks, double quotation marks. You want to put just a period, a single period. So, uh, so that takes care of uh, periods. Now we also you can do this for as many characters as you would like. Uh, definitely the two you should definitely do it for are. Uh, periods and forward slashes, which I'm going to do here. Uh, so, uh, right here, you want to put in two and symbols, so two of them, uh, and I'm going to take this, and you want to copy it, and paste it, and you want to change the dot to a forward slash. So, that will take care of the problem. Now, we have to put all of our code uh, inside of uh, curly brackets, so you want to hit shift and then the brace key, which is just above the quotation mark key, and then you want to come down, uh, right, um, um, after our, uh, all our includes, and you want to put in the other side of that, so it'll be after our, uh, our, our include pages. And then you want to highlight all of this text. Well, not that much. You want to highlight your code just before, or just after our, our, uh, quotation, or our, uh, whatever that's called. Doesn't matter. You want to hit Control, Shift, and then the, uh, greater than sign, which will likely, uh, um, indent your code, which is what we're going to do here. But since I'm using Notepad++, uh, I'm going to go to, I think it's Edit. Yeah. Uh, where is it? There it is, Indent. And then Increase Line Indent. So it says you can do Tab. So, so right there, it just increased our line indent. And we're going to get rid of a line here. And then after our, our if statement saying that we don't want these two characters... We're going to put. I'm running out of time here. I want to put an else, and you want to take your your error include your include error, uh, and you want to paste it down there. So if if the, if your users do try to uh, do something they shouldn't, they should get an error message, which is what we're going to do here. So that takes care of our uh, security problem. Uh, thanks for watching. Uh, this is the end of the dynamic pages tutorial. Unless, of course, I decide on something else to, uh, to include, and if I do, I will, uh, I'll make another video. Uh, thanks for watching. Don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe.